we recently carried out a very interesting piece of uh, research studying the microbiome aboard the International Space Station. What happens to human body in space? Understanding the effects of space flight on humans and their stay in the International Space Station has become a topic of interest to many researchers as space travel continues to gain momentum. What space travel does to the human body is still uncharted territory. While doctors and scientists continue to explore ways in which bodies are impacted as well as could adapt to the space environment. Taking a stride in this direction, researchers from the Indian Institute of Madras and NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory have studied the interactions between microbes in the International Space Station. The study understands the risk associated with short-term and long-term space travel on the health of astronauts. Dr. Karthik Raman, a core member of the Robert Bosch Center for Data Science and Artificial Intelligence at IIT Madras, collaborated with Dr. Kasturi Venkateshwaran, senior research scientist at JPL, to study the interactions between microbes in the ISS. Dr. Karthik explains the findings of this study. There are a number of interesting microbes that are present there, uh, coming mostly from the humans that keep traveling to the International Space Station. And what we find are some very unique sort of interactions and how these interactions shape this microbiome, the structure of the microbes that live aboard in the ISS in such extreme environments and what kind of ramifications it has for long term space travel and so on. So we found, we used a combination of very interesting computational methods. We used a, a graph theoretic method and also other kinds of modeling methods to basically study what kind of interactions exist between these microorganisms. And we found some very interesting relationships between uh, some bacteria and some fungi aboard the uh, International Space Station. And we were also able to validate some of our predictions, uh, support some of our predictions using experimental approaches that were done in the lab. So together, these approaches show that uh, even though there are, these are like clean room, very highly sterile environments, you still have a lot of interesting microbes that inhabit these environments and it, these have implications for the health and safety of astronauts in as we look at uh, longer term space travel and uh, studies such as these have a big role to play in trying to understand the, the complex web of interactions that underlie these microbiomes to eventually shed more light on how to uh, carry out targeted disinfection and so on. Read more about this story on newsonair.com and stay tuned with PBNS for more such updates.